Hey everyone, Kim here with the Happy Crocheters. I wanted to share some tips with you that I do with my granny squares. So, I haven't done that many and quite honestly, I just learned about granny squares probably about a year ago, never even really heard of them, knew what they were. And once I found out about them, I was a little bit hooked. So I have made some granny squares, but I've made a couple blankets for a couple of my friends and I've probably posted them on here at least in like a sequence of showing blankets that I've made. So one of the tricks that I like and I think is a helpful tip is I don't like to do like each full granny square. Okay so for instance I made a blanket for um, my best friend and um here and with the granny squares I had to do the red hearts in the center and then I had to do make them into a square and then I had another color to go around right so what I like to do and I'm going to show you with the skull that I'm making which I know you guys have seen if you've been watching my our channel um what I like to do is I like to start with the beginning of it right so I like to go and make all of the inside pieces. So when I'm doing um, like the hearts or the skull, I just made all of the skulls. So that way I'm only using that one color of yarn. So when I'm using my white, I just do everything that I need with white and I disconnect it, finish it off and I set it aside. So that way when I go to do my next color, I can pick it up and I just go ahead and make it a square rectangle in this case. Um, but it makes it easier because then I'm only using that one color. I'm not switching from white to black to the next color. And another reason I find this to be helpful is if anybody um, really has realized this, when you're doing the same thing over and over, you actually get quicker. So if I'm doing all of these schools, I have that in repetition where I'm getting the pattern down and it's a lot quicker and I do each one a little bit faster. So it goes a lot faster. Then when I switch to black, I'm doing the same design to make it a square. And, you know, I'm getting in repetition to make all of them that. So I only have seven of these done so far, still working on it. But then when I go to my orange again, I'm just doing that one color and getting in repetition. So this is going to be faster and faster. So the next thing is I personally like to join them as I go. So when I get this one done, I'll probably do with this since it's not the same. I'm not going to use the same color to connect them. What I'm probably going to do with this would be my suggestion and my thought process here is I'll finish probably one row so I'll get all six that I need for the one the top row and I will then connect as I go so that way each time I'm connecting all six in one swoop and that way when I get done I don't have 36 of these to then go through and try and connect one by one because I'm doing it as I go which is what I did with the hearts um the Kansas City Chiefs theme blanket for my bestie and with the other blanket I made one of my other friends for her birthday which is the Miltred stitch is the 3d blanket I thought it was so cool what I did with that is I did each color because again when you use the same repetition I just started with my main color and I did all of those and I went through and did all the next color for all my squares and um, then I attached those as I went so I like to do that because it's I'm one of those people I don't want to see a whole pile of them and like oh my gosh I gotta put these together I like to do it as I go my next one my daughter knows about it so this is actually a temperature blanket so these grannies and yes i need to weave in the ends i'll, throw, I'll show the other side <laughs> so with this um with this one i'm going to do each month and as i get each month done so this is from her 
uh, the day she was born up until the last day of October in 2005. Oh my gosh. Um, so I'm going to then do the November of 2005. So when I get this one done with this one, I am just going to attach them as I go. So as soon as I get her um, next month done, I will just connect it to this one end with these 12 squares because they are much bigger than um, the other blanket that I'm doing. It's quite a bit different here, <laughs> but I'm only going to have 12 of these big um, squares. So I'm going to connect these as I go and that way when it, it'll just be done when I get the last day done and that yeah that I just hit my elbow it didn't hurt um so and then I'll finish with the border so that is just my tips on doing granny squares if you have tips on how you like to do your granny squares maybe I'm missing something and there's an even better way for me to quick and do mine quicker to speed up my process. I would love to hear your tips. Um, do you guys connect them as a, as you go? Do you connect them all at once at the end? Um, I would love to see what your comments are and any tips and tricks that you have for me because like I said, I haven't been doing granny squares that, that long, but I do love how I can uh, connect them in the way that I, I found to get them through the process a bit. So, Leave your tips, tricks, hook that like button and hook that subscribe button if you enjoy our videos and like our content. And I'll see you guys on our next video. Bye guys.